and welcome back to Mega Man 64. Last part, uh, we defeated the boss, and we got our Class A license. So I'm gonna do a little bit of optional stuff here in this part. Let's see. We now have access to this area. Um, but I'm only here for one thing for right now. Um, I'll be sure to come back and do a more thorough, you know, like, search of this area. But for now, we just want what's in here. There we go. We want to get the vacuum on. So. With that, let's, uh, go get the vacuum arm made and then uh, we'll be uh, heading off to a dungeon. I guess you could call it a dungeon. Or uh, mini dungeon or dig site, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, yeah. Come on, roll. Make us our vacuum arm. There you go. Um, I mentioned it before. This one you just use it to suck up stuff, so it'll be useful because you're going to need a lot of zinni to buy all your stuff in this game. I don't have that much zinni right now, but I'll upgrade it as much as I can at least. There we go. Infinite energy, that's nice. Definitely want better range. Suction speed. Alright. I can't afford the level 3 special. Uh, I'll upgrade that later. I might do it off, uh, off camera. I, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, recording the commentary after I've already got the video made, so... Anyway... We got the vacuum arm, um, and now I guess I th believe I go back to that optional dungeon up here, back in the north area where the tanks were. Let's see, that's west. Watch out for cars. Ow! See what I mean? Watch out for cars. Dang, stupid drivers. I guess we're lucky we don't take much damage from getting rammed by a truck. Let's see, we go all the way up here. It's a bit of a long walk all the way up to that dungeon again, but... Yeah, there's just some guys standing there now. All the tanks are gone. Anyway, yeah, that's the vacuum arm. Uh, pitter patter all the way uh, to the exit up here. Let's see, the dungeon's in this area. I showed it to you uh, in the last couple videos, I think. So yeah, we we won't be able to fully explore this place. Uh, because we don't have the drill and, and a few other items too you might need. I can't remember, but all of these dungeons are actually connected to each other. So later in the game you can... It's like one giant dungeon, really. Yeah. Map. My uh, controller has problems kind of with the C buttons. It's like on a stick. C stick. Instead of on the 64 controller, they're separate buttons or whatever. So, it's sometimes when I try and push down, for some reason it also pushes up. So, I'll get the up C, which is the map screen. But So, it's just a minor inconvenience. Anyway, yeah, there's a bunch of treasures in here. And a trap box. 
straight out of uh, Final Fantasy and all kinds of other RPGs. And yeah, someone hid money in a hole in a wall. Let's go this way, obviously. There's some stuff going on above us, I can see. Sometimes a lock-on kind of sucks because it locks on even though there's a wall in your way. I can't quite jump that high yet. Ah, they came down to me. Come on, get out of the way. I want to be able to go up there without worrying about getting hit. Anyway, we gotta find a way up there, because there's a treasure chest and some other stuff going on up there. We go up this ramp finally deal with these guys. Ah, I can't wait to upgrade the buster gun, because right now it's really slow. Yeah, I guess I can't get the zinni. It kind of fell down there. Kind of watch out for fireballs here. Ah, great, these guys. Come on. Come on. Gotcha. Okay. I always have the habit of wanting to fill in every single little space in the map. It's just a bad habit of mine. Somewhere around here is a treasure chest. I think you have to jump for it. Where is that? Oh, there's a door. Come on, out of my way. Thank you. And the zenny fell down again. There we are. Treasure chest. Oh, a cannon kit. I guess that's nice. Jump. Jump. And let's go this way. Yeah, my controller's screwing up again. You have to press down C to go through doors. And like I said, sometimes it wants to go up and set it down. Anyway, we can't jump up there yet, so I'll have to come back here eventually. Once I get the, the new jump boots or whatever. And yeah, I have to go back down there and retake... Eh, retrace my steps all over again. But it was still worth it to get the cannon kit. It's a nice special weapon for this point in the game. Um, I think for now I'm going to keep the vacuum arm just because I'm going to want a lot of zinni. Which I'll do most of the zinni collecting and stuff off screen since it's just a waste of time to watch me killing the same guys over and over. And you'll need, like, a huge amount of zinni throughout the game. Like, in the millions. Eventually. Um, you know, to get, like, the shining laser upgraded and stuff, that costs massive amount of zinni. There's another wall that you need to drill to go through. And we get that later on, too. So, yeah, we'll be back. We just came here for now for the cannon kit and to fill in the little spaces in the map. So. Ah, man, that's cheap. That means we gotta walk all the way back there. There's not even any tanks to fight or anything. They could have come up with something, I guess. It gets a lot easier to backtrack once you get the jet skis. So you can just kind of ski your way back.
Come on, Magman. Pick up the pace. So I'm running kind of low on time. So I'll just make it back to roll. Probably save my game there and make the cannon kit and I guess go to the next official dungeon, one of the subgates in the next video, I think. Which I seem to recall there's another pirate attack and yeah. It'll be fun. We'll have some fun times coming up. So there we are. Data save. Save slot three for the heck of it. Anyway, um that's pretty well it for